from the churches to the jails Tonight all is silence in the world As we take our step Down in jungle Hello and welcome to Bruce Springs in Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Jungle Land from Born to Run. Thanks very much to subscribe star Robert Filippi for the request. Rangers had a homecoming in Harlem late last night And the magic rat drove his slick machine, yeah, over Jersey State Line Barefoot girls sitting on the hood of a Dodge and drinking warm beer in the soft summer rain the Rat pulls on the town, rolls up his pants Together they take a stab of romance and disappear down Flamingo Lane Well, the maximum lawman run down from Ingo, chasing the rat and the barefoot girl. And the kids around here look just like shadows, always quiet, holding hands. And from the churches to the jails, tonight all is silence in the world. As we take our step down in jungle. There's a valley being fought out in the alley To the local cops, cherry tops Rip this holy night The streets are alive, secret dissipate Conflicts fading, vanishing scene Kids flash guitars just like sweet blades Blossoming from the wrecking machine Hungry and the hunted Exploding in rock and roll bands they Face off against each other out in the street Down in the
beneath the city to half speed soul engines running through a night so tender in a bedroom light in the whispers of soft refusal and then In the tunnels of town, the rats own dream guns and down. As shots echo down them hallways in the night. No one watches when the ambulance pulls away. Or as the girl shuts out the bedroom light. Outside the streets on fire In a real death waltz Between what's flesh and what's fantasy And the poets down here don't write nothing at all They just stand back and let it all be In the quick of the night, they reach their moment Trying to make it understand. But they wind up wounded, not even dead. Tonight in Jungle Land. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. OK, so it starts off in the key of C major, but there's a few key changes um, later on. It's also worth noting that there's a lot of tempo changes. So as we go along, I'll give you the kind of the tempo change. OK, so um, let's go through the chords first. So we've got normal C major. So first finger, um, first fret B, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, third fret A. We've also got a G major. Now, typically, Bruce likes to play his Gs like this. There's third and fourth fingers. Third finger blocking the A string. Uh, third fret uh, low E, and then little finger, third fret high E, but other Gs will work fine as well. <coughs> and then you've got an F over C chord. So you're buying the uh, first fret and the B and the E strings. Middle finger, second fret G. Third finger, third fret A, little finger, third fret D. That's an F over C chord. Uh, but in the song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, or well, the first half of the song structure, because it's such a massive song, I'll just refer to it as an F, okay? Um, so I've also put some of the, you know, the piano parts in, but, but really stripped down the chord names. There's lots of kind of extended chords here. Um, but yeah, so if, um, hopefully you make sense of that. Any chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. And always remember that the song structures are in the description. So you can literally just go into the subscription of any video, copy and paste it, and then just put it in a, a Word file or, or something and print it out. Um, <clears throat> okay, cool. So um, that was the F over C and then D minor chord. So you can play it in several different ways. You can play it with your first and second and third finger. First finger, first fret high E, middle finger, second fret G, third finger, third fret B. Uh, I think Bruce typically uh, for example, there's this really nice bit which goes from this D minor to a G sus 2. Uh, so um, you might want to play it with your first finger, middle finger, second fret G, and then a little finger, third fret B. This allows for some easier transitions, okay? And we also got a B flat chord. So you're buying the first fret here on the uh, A string, from the A string. And then third finger playing the third fret and the D 
uh, the D, G and the B strings. And then we've got that really nice G sus2 chord. So I watched a few videos just kind of working out roughly what he's doing here. And I do see him playing this chord, um, which is used in loads of the songs as well. So it's obviously a chord that Bruce likes to use. Uh, third finger, third fret E, middle finger, second fret G, little finger, third fret B. And we've also got a G minor chord, and this is the G minor over D chord, so it's just like the way that Bruce likes to play is kind of, you know, F sharp minor, G minor, so it saves you playing the whole bar. Um, so it's just a bit of an ease thing, I think. So basically, bar the third fret on the G, B, and the E strings, with your first finger, then third finger, fifth fret A, little finger, fifth fret D, so that's a G minor over D, but in the song structure, I would just refer to it as a G minor chord. You've got an E flat chord. Again, so there's lots of key changes, I think, transposes to B flat and also an E flat, I think, could be wrong. Um, um, but yes, yeah, so it's a nice, um, lots of parallel kind of key thing going on. So uh, sixth fret, first finger, sixth fret from the A string, and then third finger bar from the D, the G and the B strings on the eighth fret. Okay, so that's an E flat major. We've also got an A flat major. Okay, so you're buying the fourth fret, all six strings with your first finger, then third finger, sixth fret A, little finger, sixth fret D, middle finger, fifth fret G. Now I think there's some kind of, uh, sort of slash chords you can play uh, along the kind of the sax build up. Um, this is an A flat over E flat. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're just buying the first fret on the D, G and the B strings. So refer to that as an A flat over E flat. And then you move it up two frets and you've got a B flat over F, okay? So A flat over E flat, B flat over F. And we've also got a B flat sus4 chord. It sounds brilliant, I think. So uh, these are kind of, if you know the Pimple Wizard by the Who, basically using those chord voicings. So um, sixth fret B and E strings there uh, with your first finger, then third finger, eighth fret D, little finger, eighth fret G. That's B flat, sus4, really, really nice chord voicing there. And then you just put your middle, take your little finger off, put your middle finger down on the seventh fret of the G, and you've just got a broken uh, B flat chord. So it comes from the E shape there, full bar, but you're just playing four strings. So B flat, sus4, B flat. And then you've got C minor, barring from the third fret, the A string, and then middle finger, um, fourth fret B, third finger, fifth fret D, little finger, fifth fret G. I think there's a D flat chord. Um, get lots of uh, very advanced chords on the piano here. It was a, a whopping challenge doing the recording Roy's piano for the backing track. Um, really nice. It's just amazing piano playing. So this is D flat major, bar the fourth fret from the A string, and then third finger barring a sixth fret on the D, G, and B strings. And then also I think we've got a G minor seven chord. So that's barring the third fret, all six strings, um, and then your third finger, fifth fret of the A string. There are quite a lot of chords, but a lot of them are kind of, you only do like once or twice possibly. So they're the chords, um, and basically Steve, so um, if you want to get the tabs for this, um, either in PDF format or Guitar Pro, uh, you'll be able to get that soon on the website, jasmusical.co.uk, or on the Subscribe Star site, so you get files to sent to your email address on the third of every month. So I have transcribed Steve's parts as well, and you'll be able to hear that on the backing track and the walkthrough. Uh, so basically it's very similar parts, um, but just different chord voicings, okay? So instead of doing C here, C, Steve would be doing a C up here, instead of an F there, uh, Steve would be doing like a broken F uh, there, and then a G. So yeah, similar sort of things, but I have tabbed all, all that out so you can see um, how it all links together to make it sound amazing. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's go through the structure of the song. So basically the intro, First verse, first break, second verse, it's no guitar. So it's why I decided to sing. I haven't sung in about a year, so uh, please be kind, because I um, I do normally sing in my covers band, but uh, normally this, these videos take so long, I don't normally have um, you know, time to sing. Um, but I thought I'd do that, because otherwise I'd be sitting there twiddling my thumbs for four minutes of the song, but there's no, nothing going on. So 
Um, yeah, so the intro, first verse, first break, second verse, uh, are just all piano and strings. <clears throat> okay, so then you're coming in for the second break, and this will be on the and of four. So you're going one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four. So on the and of four, you've got two sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four, and a, so down strokes, down and up, sorry. One, two, three, four, and a. So this is the second break, and then C major, down stroke, one, two, three, and on the end of three, one, two, three, and four, and up stroke on the G, and F, down stroke for three beats, one, two, three, four, and then you repeat that kind of phrase, so it's and a one, two, three, and four, and then Steve's basically doing the same thing but up here. Which, um, so to, combined with all the other instruments, it sounds phenomenal. So that's the second broke, uh, break. And then also in the third break that you see um, later on, you're just going to do the same thing, but you're not going to come in with the, that bit to start with. So the third break is the same structure-wise. Um, you've got this four-bar phrase. You're going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one. That's the second and then the third breaks. Okay, so then this, uh, the third verse, what you're basically gonna be doing, um, again, feel free to change this up. Again, as I say in all the videos, Bruce tends to pick this stuff more and let the other Nils and Steve, when they're playing live, take over a lot more of the strumming. Um, but there's definitely some, some nice strumming going off in this song, so, but feel free to change this up. Bruce will be doing something different every single time he plays this song live. Chords will be the same, but he'll the way he plays it, you'll mix it up. It won't be the same every time. So what you're gonna, for the verse, you've basically got this kind of two-bar pattern um, seven times, okay? Um, and then a variation on the eighth time, okay? So this is the third verse. Uh, and you're going to basically be doing the same thing in the, the chords behind the guitar solo as well. So chord-wise, we've got C major, two down strokes, uh, chord notes. One, two, then you kind of... Did some dead notes in there, so make sure the strings are muted. So this is for an eighth note in the start of beat three. So one, two, three. And then on the end of three, do an upstroke on the G. Another dead note. And on the end of four, F over C. So one, two, three, and four, and one. Like that. One, down, 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 mute, up, down, mute, up, and the F over C. One, two, three, rings into the next uh, bar for the first beat you're just letting it ring out and then so beat two f and then the g bit with the dead note before it and a dead note and then c okay so that two bar phrase one two three and four and one two three and four Steve will just be doing the same thing but in different voicing. And together, they lock together and sound amazing. So that's the main two bar phrase. And obviously, after the first time, you're just letting that C <coughs> ring out. Okay? So the very first bar of that was one, two, three, and four, and. The third bar, after it's all been looped, you're going to go one, two, three, and four, and. So what I'll do is I'll play that kind of seven rounds of the this two bar phrase. So this is round one, round two, round three, round four, round five, round six, round seven. Round eight starts off the same, but the F kind of carries on. So you got this, this is round eight. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so that round eight again. One, two, three, and four, up, down, down, up, down, up. And don't forget, you know, if you were playing this live, you wouldn't do this exactly the same, you know. 
long as you get the chord changes in the right place and put a bit more picking in, because Bruce likes to pick, you know, more often than I strum, I think. Than he strums, I think, so. <laughs> As long as that kind of the chord changes in the right place. Cool. So um, and then yeah, in basically the chords behind the guitar solo, um, the guitar yeah again the guitar solos will be uh, tutorials for Steve's awesome guitar solo will be on subscribe star probably the normally the day after these are released on YouTube. Um, so yeah, so you have the whole breakdown of a walk through a tab, and I'll go through all, all the guitar solo. So. Fantastic guitar solo for this one. So that, that chord section there is exactly the same. So the first, so you've got the same eight rounds. Again, keep cross-references uh, cross-referencing with the song structure. The first four rounds um, of these eight, you're going to do the same as what we did in that third verse. Just round one, round two. Basically, at the end of round four, slightly different just to kind of close it off. So that last round there, so round four of the guitar solo. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And this is basically just to close it off before the rhythm changes. It sounds really cool. So you're gonna get that, that last bar there. So one, two, three, and four, and. So one, down stroke on the F, dead note, and then up, down, up on the G. Okay, so I'll just play you those first four rounds of the guitar solo chords. Then two bar phrase repeated four times. Slight variation in the last round. One, two, three, and four, and. And then you get this kind of do, do, do. So the cool kind of um, the whole band's kind of changing their rhythm now. So you're going to do this: one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. Two and three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then um, the F over C. So rhythm-wise. What's happening here on beat two? So you're resting on beat one. Again, you've got this two bar phrase again, four times, slight variation on the fourth time. So you're going one, two, three, and four, and. Yeah, so crotch chip, uh, sorry, quarter note on uh, beat two. One, two, eighth note rest. So then on the end of three, do an upstroke. One, two, three, and four, and. And then you got F major, one, two, and three, four. Okay, strumming wise, down, up, down, down. Timing wise, one, two, and three, four. And that's that two bar phrase, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four. Do that four times, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, two, and three. And this is the fourth time. One, two, three, and four. And just let it ring with the F over C. Cool. So that's the chords um, behind the guitar solo. Okay. So after the third verse, you've got the chorus section. Okay. So um, <clears throat> so here, again, when I've seen you know the live in New York City and the other versions, I think Steve is basically doing the power chords, more of the strumming. <laughs> So D minor, the main chords here, D minor, E minor, F, G. Uh, split bars here. Uh, and then Bruce will be doing some picking over the top. So again, feel free to mix this up uh, as long as the rhythms are there. So these are gonna be eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and three. Uh, so one and two and three and four and. So split bars here. D minor, okay, so we're going to do down, up, down, up, D, G, E, B. Again, feel free to mix it up later on. One and two, two and, and then E minor, we're going to pick the E, A, then the G, and the D. 
So one and two and three and four and then F major, but you can just do this part of the F major chord. Three on the D, middle finger, second fret G, first finger, first fret B. So one and two, and then on the and of two, go to the G chord and uh, three and four and, okay? So all eighth notes or half a beat each. And again, once you've got that kind of structure, you can play around it. Yes, it doesn't have to be exact like this, but this is just a suggestion. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, F major, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you basically do this four times. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. One more time. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's just a nice, again, nice little balancing act. So if, if you're playing this in a tribute act, <coughs> you want Steve and Neil's in the chords, and then Bruce doing some nice picking over the top. Uh, sound fantastic, cool. And then you've got B flat. So this is um, B flat, just rings out the two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, and D minor, one and a half bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, and then down, up. That ding, ding, and going sinking with the drums as well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, down, up, and then back to B flat. Two, for two bars, one, two, three, four. And then the end of this chorus section, D minor, we'll use that classic down, down, up, up, down, up, the D minor, and then the same again with that. See what I mean about that change from the D minor with your little finger? This G sus2. Down, up, up, down, up. So the idea with this chord, because the chord isn't actually an F over A, because you're doing this, Bruce will do this, whereas uh, Stevie will do an F chord or F over A chord, and together they just sound will sound really nice. So hope you can hear that in the backing track that I've made for this. And don't forget, get the backing tracks. You can get you know once one or two a month um, via subscribe star or on the website jsmusicschool.co.uk so they're always available normally the day after all the videos are done okay so um let me just play that whole of that um second half of the the first chorus okay so you've got that d minor e minor three uh, uh, those uh, four chords um the two bar phrase four times and then we've got b flat Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. B flat, one, two, three, four, D minor, G sus two. So on its own, that seems a bit funny, but when you combine that with the F, you've got that and that, it sounds really nice. Okay. And then we're on the third break, which we've done. Okay, uh, and now onto the guitar solo which we've done that as well. So that's chords behind the guitar. So, and now we've got the middle eight section, okay? So this is where, um, is it, I think this is in the key of F or B flat. Um, actually, key in the F, I think, or mode of F. So this is now the middle eight section. So we're gonna do two bars of B flat. Again, with that classic strumming pattern where you've got one chord note, one, and then six, Eighth notes with a tie on the start of beat three. One, two, and three, and four, and B flat for two bars, and then one bar, then C for one bar, then G minor for one bar, B flat. There's nice rhythm here. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. So that uh, says one, two, three, four, five, six, bar seven. <coughs> Of the middle of the middle eight, the down stroke F major one, one beat, one note, rest for an eighth note, and then up down on the C, and let it ring throughout the next bar as well. Cool, and then we've got B flat, two bars. Again, feel free to do some picking as well. Mix it up, C major, G minor, B flat. Just on a C chord. One, two, three, four. Cool.
cool. So let me just go through that whole of that middle eight section. Two bars of B flat, F major, C, G minor, B flat, one, two, and three. Cool, so um, yeah, in terms of tempo changes, I don't think we've had any since the, um, yes, yeah, since the, um, so the intro is in uh, 88 BPM, BPM, okay, then when you start singing, it's 132, okay, BPM, and then there's no changes um, until we get to the sax build-up, okay, so I call this a sax build-up, you can call it some, you know, whatever works for you. I just call this kind of the, the main sax solo comes a bit later. And this is kind of the start of the sax solo. It's all kind of building up to this kind of the main sax solo. So, okay, so this is at 72 BPM. So it's a lot slower after that middle eight section. So what we've got E flat, and you can just play um, whole notes here or semi briefs So just one per bar. Or, I mean, I'm not even sure if there's any guitar in this section, so you don't have to play. It's just something just, you know, you know, keep you occupied. So you've got E flat for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, A flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, back to E flat. And then the A over E flat. Two, and the bass note, or the piano is doing this. So it's actually an E flat over G flat. Um, but yeah, so you just need to play the top half of this chord. So A flat over E flat, two, three, four, B flat over F, and then back to E flat, two, three, four, A flat. We do that again. E flat, so quite minimal, because obviously you're letting that sax take over with the piano. A flat over E flat, B flat over F. Cool, and then you've got the B flat sus4. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and. So rhythm wise there, you've got two eighth notes, half a beat each, one and, and tied for another half a beat. And then you've got two sixteenth notes down up. The two beat phrase. One and two and and B flat. One and two and a one. So quite stripped down, you know. There's not you can't really hear any guitar on the record for this bit, but um, it's just nice to even just play one chord per bar, just to, just to thicken up a little bit. Cool. So then you've got the awesome sax solo. So um, you know, rhythm-wise for this, you know, Steve, you know, Neil's will be going full on kind of that sort of rhythm. One and two and a three. And then Bruce obviously does his traditional more picking. So for here, again, this is what I've tabbed out, but feel free to change it up, okay? Again, all eighth note rhythm, so one and two and three and four and, and you're gonna do E flat, okay? So now this sax, this is the main sax solo. You're gonna do um, this, this, this kind of eight bar phrase three times, okay? Got E flat, A, D, B, G, A, D, B, G for two, uh, two bars. And do the same thing with the C minor now. Again, filter free to mix it up. A flat, A, E, A, G, D strings. Again, filter, mix it up. And then B flat, sus4. It sounds quite nice with the two notes to start with, so the the D and the G, like that. So the D and the G together, one and two and, and then the B flat do the same thing. You can also just do that one more time. Remember this eight bar um, phrase is done twice. C minor. Again, this is still a slower tempo. 
A flat for two bars, B flat sus four to B, B flat sus four to B. Just love that bit, brilliant sax solo. Cool, and then um, you've got this nice kind of quiet bit. I think there's doing a D flat. Again, you can be quite really soft with these kind of chords. One, two, three, four, then C minor. One, two, three, four, G minor seven, and A flat. Cool, um, <clears throat> so that's obviously the all of the sax solo. So then you've got the fourth break. Again, no guitar here, it's a, and it's a little bit slower, so about 68 BPM. So that fourth break's eight bars. Then you've got the fourth verse, 16 bars. Okay, again, no guitar. And then you've got the fifth verse, which is 15 bars, and that's a little bit faster, 84 BPM. Okay, and then after that, you've basically got the outro, okay, uh, which is a lot faster, which is 132, which is the crazy piano so yeah so um guitar wise and the main challenge if you were playing this in a band is the Roy Bittan piano which is just sublime so and the structure because it's such a long song it's remembering all the chord orders so hopefully the song structure and the tab and the walkthrough will help you with that yeah such as just an epic uh kind of song so but yeah sort of chord wise it's um it's not too bad um so hopefully you enjoy that. Um, any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Please give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Um, thanks very much for watching. And um, yes, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. If you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribestar page or my website, jsmusicscore.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.